There are new signs in Markham, Ontario, warning residents about avian flu. It's just one of several cities near Toronto where birds have tested positive for the highly contagious strain. Experts say the risk to humans is low, but people should still protect themselves and their pets. The more chances this virus has to jump into mammals, the more chances it has to mutate and adapt to mammals and potentially spread between mammals. The H5N1 strain has killed off millions of birds around the world and the animals that eat them too. In Peru, authorities say more than 700 sea lions have died of avian flu since January. In Canada, it's killed off foxes, skunks, raccoons and bald eagles. When it comes to avian flu outbreaks, experts say there's a trend that isn't going to stop. There are two migration seasons every year, spring and fall. And those are historically the, the periods where we, you will see outbreaks. The poultry industry has also been hit hard. It has a sensor inside the barn. This egg farmer says strict protocols are now the new normal. When we, when we get to our barns, our footwear gets changed, our, we put on suits, biosecure suits that, that make sure that we're not bringing anything inside, to, inside our barns at all. The BC Egg Producers Association says about 3.6 million farm birds have been lost to avian flu in British Columbia. And while it hasn't affected supply, there are fears it could. It's a huge sense of um, anxiety. Every day when, we're, when we enter our barns, we knock on that door. We don't really know what we're going to see. Uh, we do everything possible to keep this out of our, out of our farms. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency says there are only two poultry farms in the country currently dealing with avian flu outbreaks, and their hope is that those cases will be resolved soon. Idil Moussa, CBC News, Toronto.